recording in progress. Similar, I will do question 15, which is your data's journal. We are dealing with VC clothing, which sells for cash and on credit. On the 1st of April, 2023, the balance of their due to debtors are as follows. C wrapper, it was 600. C nasty, it was 1,400. Other balances or totals on 1 April, 2023 are as follows. You are required to enter transactions in the debtors journal of VC clothing, close off the journal and post to the general ledger and the debtors ledger. Here's the information balances on 1 April, 2023. We've got debtors control, which is 2,000. That 2,000 is a sum of these two. So the balance of your debtors control will be the sum of that 600 plus this 1,400. It will give you that 2,000 because you only have two debtors. Now, the following credit sales took place during April, 2023. On the third, we issued invoice number 10 to see wrapper for 2,200, which is the selling price and the cost price of the goods that were sold on credit to see wrapper was 1,750. Now, the fact that they said we issued an invoice, normally they'll say credit sales invoice. It tells you that this transaction must be recorded in their debtors journal. The invoice number will be 10, day will be the third, the name of the data will be C wrapper, and under sales will have 2,200, under cost of sales will have 1,750. Then you are going to go to C wrapper's data's ledger account. You will notice that at the beginning of the month, C wrapper was owing us 600. We will start with that 600. Now, balance that chance the rapper was owing at the beginning of the month is 600. And chance bought again on the third, right? And chance bought goods worth. 2,200. You will notice there you have the selling price, which is 2,200, and you also have the cost price, which is 1,700. By which amount are we going to increase chance the repos amount, or basically the balance? And on which side are we going to record that purchase or that particular amount? You will increase because chance the rapper is already owing us 600. You will increase what chance the rapper is owing us under details, write invoice 10. And hopefully, you will write that comes from your DJ, which is your debtor's journal. Will it be on the debit or credit? Note that the debit represents the increase in what chance the rapper will be owing us, and the credit represents the decrease on what chance the rapper will be owing us. Here, chance the rapper is buying more. Therefore, the amount for which he bought for will be debited. We will debit his account by 2,200. Now, when you take 2,200 and add it with that 600, you add these two, you will get 2,800 as the new balance on the third. On the 12th, we send we send an invoice, which is invoice 11, to see Nasty for goods, which he bought on credit from VC Clothing for 
$750, and the cost price of those goods was $475. Now, because we're dealing with invoices here, it will be recorded in the debtor's journal. In the debtor's journal, we only record goods that were sold on credit. Remember that. The invoice number will be 11. Day will be the 12. And that is nice to see. It will be 750 under sales and under cost of sales, we'll have 475. And then we're gonna to go to NSTC's debtor's ledger account. At the beginning of the month, NSTC was owing us 1,400. Now he bought more goods on credit on the 12th. So we're gonna have invoice 11. And the folio will have DJ. It will be recorded on the debit side because he bought more on credit. So on the debit side, you'll put in the selling price, which is 750. 1,400 plus 750 will give you 1,000. I mean, it will give you 2,150. That's it. On the 26th, we supplied merchandise to Chance the Rapper for 1,500. The cost price of this merchandise was 1,350. A credit invoice 12 was issued. Note that transaction again will be reported in the debtors journal. You will start with the invoice, which is invoice 12. They will be the 26th under Data, you will have C wrapper and under sales you'll have 1,500 under cost of sales you'll have 1,350 this will increase what C the wrapper is owing us we will report it here on the 26th we'll have invoice 12 DJ under folio because chance the wrapper bought goods on credit his account will increase, he will owe us more. And the fact that his account must increase, we are going to debit the increase, which will be 1,500. When you take 1,500 and add it with 2,800, now Chance the Ripper will be owing us 4,300. On the 29th, we issued invoice 13 to Nasty C for goods sold on credit 215. The cost price was 150. Again, that will be recorded in the debtors journal. We'll have invoice 13, day will be the 29th, and then we'll have Nasty C under sales, we'll have 250, and under cost of sales, we'll have 150. And just add them up. And then go to the account of Nasty C and increase it on the debit side by the selling price of goods we sold to him. And that will be 250. 250 plus 2150 will give you a new balance of 4,000, I mean 2,400. You need to remember that the debtor's ledger increases on the debit, decreases on the credit. It will decrease when the debtor pays us or when we write off the debtor. The couple of reasons why it will decrease. You will learn about those later. Highlight the balance from each debtor's ledger. All those balances that we've got you will record them in the debtor's list. It will start with Chance the Ripper. Chance the Ripper will be owing us 4,300. And Nasty C will be owing us um, 2,400. When you add the two, it will give us 6,700. Please note that this balance must be the same as the balance that you get in the debtor's control account in the general ledger. I want to go to my debtor's ledger. I'm going to highlight that 4,700. What do I do with that 4,700? This represents the total amount owed to the business for the month, and it will be recorded on the debit side of debtor's control and the credit side of sales. Let's do that. 
I am going to go to my debtors control. In my debtors control, already I've got a balance brought down, which was 2000. I'm going to add that 4,700 to the 2,000, which is sales, DJ, the amount will be 4,700. So we debit debtors control, we credit sales. Debit debtors control, credit sales. Okay, so we debit debtors control with sales, which is 4,700. Debtors control is a general ledger account under balance sheet or financial position section. It will have balance carry down, which is 6,000. 700. Is that balance carried down or balance brought down the same as what we have in the debtors list? Yes, it is. They must always be the same. The total of your debtors list must be the same as balance brought down in your debtors control. At the same time, they said we need to increase our sales because we earned income sales is income it already has balance brought forward which is 10,100 we are going to increase that by goods we sold on credit so we'll have debtors control from the dj the total of your sales there will be 4,700 if we had cash sales, we were going to write them on the credit side as well. We are going to write them as bank, CRJ, and then put the total of sales value there. Here, we don't need to calculate balance brought down and carried down because this is a nominal account section. All right, I'm done with that 4,700. What do I do with this 3,725? This amount represents the total cost price of goods sold on credit for the month. This amount must be recorded on the debit side of cost of sales and the credit side of trading stock. That is because I'm going to start with the trading stock. I am going to have a balance for trading stock, which is 20,200. You need to reduce this amount by the total cost of goods sold on credit, which is cost of sales. Goods sold on credit will be from the debtor's journal, and the total was 3,725. If you had goods sold for cash, we're going to write it as cost of sales on the credit side from the CRJ, and the amount is going to be there. And then you will just calculate your balance carry down. But here we didn't have any CRJ. That's why I've got zero for cost of sales CRJ. We are going to reduce our trading stock and then increase our cost of sales. I did say it when we did the accounting equation that cost of sales increases on the debit side whenever we sell. We sold trading stock here. Therefore, our cost of sales will increase on the debit side. We'll have the balance already and then increase our cost of sales by trading stock, which is your cost of goods sold on credit. How do we know they were sold on credit? Is because under value, we've got DJ, that information we got it from your debtors journal. And then you will increase it by the cost price of goods we sold for cash, of which we didn't have in this particular example. Fun. Was that not fun? It was, right? Counting is quite easy, guys. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, share on all in all your social. I don't know what happened there. Um, and share with your friends. And um, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. All right. Um, that's all. Thank you. Thank you for watching.